Today we have a great opportunity to talk with SIT faculty member who has been here for more than 20 years. She is Indian faculty member from the School of Biochemical Engineering and Technology. And she is awarded to be top 2% scientist of the wow. world. Please welcome Dr. Sanya Babel. My name is Sandhya Babel. I came in September 1990 to Thailand. I did my master's and PhD from Asian Institute of Technology in the field of environmental technology and management. And after that, I did my postdoc in 2000. And then I moved to SIIT to join in December 2000. And before coming to Thailand, I was working as an assistant professor in India. First of all, I was so excited to talk with you because I learned from you at the first year. <laughs> Let's ask the first question. Why did you choose SIIT? Ah, and what about your first teaching class? And what about your first impression of SIIT? Since I finished my study, I wanted to pursue my career in teaching and research. That was my dream job. So SIIT being an international institute, I, uh, and I believe that it will provide me a right platform to fulfill my dream of becoming a good researcher and a teacher. So in order to do this, I joined SIIT and uh, here I have been working to do the contemporary research and uh, try to contribute to the practice and policy in the field of science, evidence-based research to improve the uh, the environment and to have a sustainable future. What is your favorite thing? Food, weather, SIIT students. <laughs> okay, since I graduated, I wanted to become the teaching and research is my passion and I enjoy interacting and teaching to students. Um, mm. My, I love the Thai food. Although I'm a vegetarian, but I, I, I enjoy all vegetarian dishes. So you prefer food <laughs> more than SIT students? I first prefer SIT students. I enjoy teaching and research <laughs> and interacting with the students. You are named in Stanford University that you are top 2% scientist of the world in uh, environmental science. Ah, can you tell us more about this achievement? So I do research in contemporary areas and publish this in high scientific journals with high impact factors and these are cited by the researchers all over the world. So this has given me a lot of awards and recognition. From the Thammasat University Research Center, I was awarded for high number of citations several times and also for publications in the uh, impact factor, high impact factor journals in ISI and Scopus database. Recently, Stanford University and elsewhere uh, uh, also listed the scientists, the top 2% scientists in various fields. And I was uh, surprised to see my name listed in the field of environmental science for two consecutive years, for the whole career and also for the individual years. I had passion for the environment and I do the research on developing the low cost technologies wow. um, that can help, solve, help in solving the environmental problems. It is very important that you need to share the knowledge. Okay? You need to share the knowledge with the other researchers around the world so this can contribute to the, this can be utilized by the researchers all over the world. So one need to be tireless promoter. The success does not come in one day and it takes long time. You need to come out of the box, think in the direction and uh, we have to make sure that uh, this, our ideas should make the society to live in a better world and improve the way we live together. Impact is everything. Some students may think that after graduate from chemical engineering programs, uh, can only work in the oil company. Uh, can you tell us more about chemical engineering? So our students uh, get uh, exposure to various topics during the four-year study. They also do the practical training and uh, uh, the senior project that gives them the research exposure. In fact, our students can work in various 
areas like chemicals, environment, energy, nanotechnology, pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, advanced materials and so on. And they can get the job uh, for the research and the development, for the design, manufacturing, teaching and consultant. So it's not only the oil company, yes. right? It, there are many, many, they have mm. a big scope and they can join anywhere. Uh, in your opinion, uh, that you have been here for more than 20 years, uh, what is the difference between SIT in the past and nowadays? So SIIT uh, over the time has developed many international collaboration and this has helped for the, the faculty members and the staff here to have a good international uh, networking and that helps to do the joint research. SIIT also started recently on the, the excellent foreign students and excellent Thai student scholarships for the graduate studies. These students can do high quality research and this work can be published. SIT has also uh, developed and uh, upgraded the infrastructure and invested on the upgrading the labs and this allows to do the research in the pertinent areas and it also allows us to attract the new students to come to SIIT. Thank you for Dr. Sanya Babel to be here uh, to talk with me to give the inspiration. Thank you so much. Kapunka.